हेलो एवरीवन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल वेलकम बैक टू फूड टेक गिग्स वेर आई रचना शर्मा अपलोड वीडियोस लेक्चर्स ट्यूटोरियल्स करियर गाइडेंस वीडियोस एग्जाम रिलेटेड वीडियोस ऑन फूड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो दिस इज अ लेक्चर सीरीज वेर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट एफ एस एस आई इनिशियटिव सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वॉट आर द वेरियस बुक्स एंड रिसोर्सेज विच आर बींग लॉन्च बाई एफ एस एस आई सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ईट राइट इंडिया मूवमेंट विच इज अ वेरी popular initiative by fssci and under this movement fssci has taken various other initiatives uh, uh, citing some examples like fostec then bhog clean and fresh uh, fruits and vegetables hygiene rating and then uh, eat right campus eat right school then food fortification and many more so in this video we are going to discuss about all these in details and uh, we will also cover introduction about the eat right india movement what are the various key themes for this movement and what exactly the logo describes so all these things will be discussed in this uh, lecture so let's start today's lecture where we will be talking about eat right india movement so before we start with this uh, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and also uh, subscribe to our telegram page because i always notify all important uh, updates there so subscribe to our both channels so let's start with today's lecture so we will be starting our lecture with the introduction to eat right india movement so we know that uh, under fss act 2006 fssci was established and uh, the main objective of fssci was to ensure the availability of safe and wholesome food to the uh, citizens of our nation therefore to achieve that goal fssci on time to time come up with various initiatives and one such initiative is eat right india movement and the tagline of this movement is sahi bhojan behtar jeevan so keep this in mind it may become a question in exam so the tagline for eat right india movement is sahi bhojan behtar jeevan and exactly the idea of this movement is uh, uh, being inspired from mahatma gandhi's jan andolan so basically you can relate that eat right india movement is just a jan andolan where uh, fssci is targeting to uh, make people aware of uh, food safety and hygiene and also making the ecosystem system in such a way that the safe and wholesome food is available to each and every individual of the nation so this is uh, the general introduction about eat right india movement so if i talk about the key themes uh, so basically this eat right india movement is standing on three pillars or we can say three mantras that is eat safe eat healthy and eat sustainable it means that the food you are uh, taking it should be safe it should be healthy it should be free from any microorganisms any physical and chemical hazards it should be free from any adulterants or it should be free from uh, any uh, potential hazard that can cause harm to your body and also the food should be sustainable it should mm, go along with the nature and with the ecosystem so these are the three mantras or three pillars or the key themes for eat right india movement now let's discuss about the logo of this eat right india movement so all you must have seen this is the uh, logo for this particular movement where if we uh, analyze this logo we can see uh, different colors so all these different colors represent the indian uh, thali or we can say a balanced diet so if we see different colors so if we start from the green color the green color represents the fruits and vegetables and the amount should be uh, like you should consume these fruits and vegetables liberally and then we have the yellow portion that are cereals and pulses and they should be taken in a adequate amount as they will be uh, giving you proteins and uh, your uh, carbohydrates then we have foods and uh, drink that are high in fat and sugar content and they should be taken in a very less amount because also fssci is uh, working over uh, making people aware of consuming less uh, salt sugar and fat so these food products should be taken in very less amount then we have milk and milk products and they should be uh, consumed in a plenty amount because they are uh, provide as various minerals and uh, various vitamins then we have meat fish and poultry and uh, their amount should be in a moderate amount so this is how 
the uh, logo is being designed and this uh, aqua color in the uh, middle shows that uh, the water should be consumed in a good amount because we know that water is very very important for our body and then this green tick uh, symbolize that your food should be sustainable you should eat sustainable food and also if we talk about the taste so we know that we are having majorly six uh, taste so these six uh, different colors represent the six colors uh, according to ayurveda and all these six colors are having uh, different uh, meaning to the uh, six taste all the different tastes are having a uh, important and uh, uh, equal role in our body uh, like for example the sweet taste is uh, important uh, as it strengthen our tissue elements it is good for our nourishment and it harmonizes the body then we have the sour taste it is uh, important for our digestive enzymes salty taste you know, stimulates the digestion it increases the power of digestion then we have the pungent taste which improves the metabolism and uh, last the bitter taste which is equally important as it eliminates various bacterial elements and it helps in the purification of blood so also it is being said that the, these three uh, six different colors represent the six different tastes which are required by our body in equal amount so these uh, were the basic introduction about Eat Right India movement, its themes and its logo. So under Eat Right India movement, FSSI has taken a lot number of initiatives. So uh, if we uh, broadly classify all these initiatives, like for the purpose of our understanding, let's uh, distribute or let's divide all these different initiatives which are being taken under Eat Right India movement into three different categories. One being the supply side interventions, then we have the demand side intervention, and then we have sustainable intervention. Under this supply side intervention, our FSSI has taken various steps to make the uh, food business capable of providing safe and nutritious food to the citizens. And if we talk about the demand side, so here FSSI has taken different initiatives to make the consumer, to make the people aware of the uh, food which, which they are uh, taking. And then we have the sustainable intervention where FSSI has uh, worked uh, over uh, building an ecosystem where we can promote eco-friendly or environment-friendly food practices and habits. So here in this diagram, uh, the things will be more clear. Supply side initiatives, here uh, the main objective is to uh, uh, build the capacity of the food businesses so that they can provide uh, safe food to the consumers. Then we have the demand side and then the sustainable initiatives. So in the consecutive lectures, we will be covering all these initiatives. So in this video, our focus will be on supply side initiatives. So if I talk about supply side initiatives, so the number one and the most important is the FOSTAC. You all must have heard about this term. So FOSTAC is uh, our training program, which basically focuses on training and certification of uh, food businesses so that they can uh, understand the importance of food hygiene and they can have that that particular ecosystem in their uh, uh, industry or in their environment and different uh, certification schemes have also been launched by fssci under this supply side initiatives so that uh, different uh, places where the food is being served to the people they can serve the hygiene safe and wholesome food uh, to the consumers like for example certification of street food vendors certification of uh, 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 shops which sell uh, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables then certification of uh, places for worship so all these uh, and also we can include the certification of railway stations because they are also a major food hub uh, in our country and then we have the hygiene rating scheme where the restaurants catering and different uh, bakery shops etc all are uh, rated so that the consumers can make uh, better choices uh, where they can get uh, safer and healthier food so we will be talking about all these in details, like what exactly is the aim of this, what are the various um, uh, methods of registration under all these different schemes. So we will be covering all these. So uh, starting with FOSTAC and 
the uh, full form of this is very very important you can easily expect one or two question from this section so first tech stands for food safety training and certification so basically it is a training program which aims at spreading education and awareness on food safety and standards among the food businesses so it covers various food businesses and um, fssci has the objective uh, uh, with this uh, first tech the objective is that the fssci is targeting to educate the food businesses over the food safety and by this what they are planning like they will uh, provide the training to uh, the food business operators so fssci has also decided that on regulatory requirements it is important for every uh, food business to have at least one trained and certified food safety supervisor for every 25 food handlers so it is important or uh, to have one trained and certified food safety supervisor who have undergone the first tech training so by this uh, the every food business will have one trained or food safety uh, supervisor so that he can monitor the food safety over that premises so the food safety course under FOSTEC has been divided into three different levels, one being basic, then advanced and then special. And uh, the uh, different food business operators can choose the uh, courses according to their food business. Like for example, the basic uh, FOSTEC training is important for food uh, street food vendors and caterers and retails. Then advanced is important for the manufacturers and for storage and who are uh, dealing with the storage and transportation are uh, needed to have the advanced level of FOSTEC training and special FOSTEC training is important for uh, the products which are slightly perishable or I said which are highly perishable like for example milk and milk products, meat and poultry, fish and seafood uh, and packaged water, oil bakery. So all these food business operators need to have this special uh, FOSTEC training and it is uh, important for every food business to have at least one trained and certified food safety uh, uh, supervisor who have undergone this FOSTEC training. So this is all about FOSTEC. Then after that we are having cluster certification schemes. So under this cluster certification FSSI is targeting to certify the uh, vendors like uh, the vendors who are in the cluster at any place if the uh, food vendors are in cluster so uh, FSSI is targeting to certify them after giving them the uh, training so in this cluster certification the number one is clean street food hub and in this the FSSI is targeting to uh, improve the quality of street food so basically uh, what FSSI is doing under this uh, scheme so in this uh, FSSCI is um, identifying the uh, cluster of 50 or more vendors at a particular place who are selling popular street foods because uh, popular street foods will obviously have more people uh, consuming that particular food so they are identifying the cluster of 50 or more vendors or shops uh, which are selling popular street foods and most of them are selling the local or regional cuisines and if they meet the hygienic and sanitary requirements which are being set up by FSSI, then FSSI will provide them with the certificate and uh, uh, the whole process of the certification involves uh, different steps which are basically five. So what FSSI will do, it will first identify the various uh, uh, clusters of street food vendors then it will have the auditing of all these clusters then they will provide the first tech training to these identified clusters after providing the training they will again have the audit or we can say the verification like now are they uh, following the uh, uh, principles of food hygiene and uh, safety and if they find uh, it so then these particular uh, cluster hubs or the uh, street food vendors will be certified and here you can see this is an example of one such uh, certificate which was being awarded to Kankaria Lake which is in being Ahmedabad and it was the first clean street food hub so this is about clean street food hub and till now total of 28 uh, clean street food hubs have been uh, declared by FSSI and the largest being in Gujarat. So Gujarat has total of 17 uh, food uh, hubs which are being uh, certified under this particular clean street food hub scheme. 
then we have the another scheme under this cluster certification that is clean and fresh fruits and vegetable market so as in the previous one fssci was targeting over the street food vendors but here in this case fssci is targeting over the shops which are having a particular good infrastructure and they are selling fresh fruits and vegetables so again the process is same FSSCI is again identifying such uh, shops which are having a particular infrastructure and who are selling fresh fruits and vegetables. They will have the audit of that. They will provide the FOSTEC training and again they will have the final audit and verification and after that they will be provided with the certificate and all these certificates are valid for two years. So this is about the clean and fresh fruits and vegetable market uh, certification scheme. So if we talk about this, so INA fruits and vegetable market, New Delhi is the first market which was being certified as the clean and fresh fruits and vegetable market. So a question can be asked from uh, this section also, like uh, among these, which one was the first clean and uh, fresh fruits and vegetable market. So you must uh, know what exact, what was the first under all these categories. Next, the category we have is Bhog, which stands for blissful hygienic offering to God. So here again the same thing, the same process was being followed here. But here FSSCI was targeting to maintain safety of the food and the standard of hygiene of the food. Or we can say the prasad which is being distributed at different uh, places of worship. So the prasad or the bhog which is being distributed to the uh, people at the at any uh, worship place so fssc is targeting to make that safe so again the process is same identifying uh, such places which are having uh, like where they a large number of people gather at a time and have the prasad like for example langars in gurudwaras etc so all these are being identified then auditing is done training is given and then final audit and after that certificates are being provided so this is about bhog then we have eat right station and in this eat right station we know that indian railway stations actually are a good hub for the food like you can see a number of uh, various food stalls at the railway station so in this uh, scheme fssci is targeting to ensure that the food which is being uh, provided at these uh, railway stations should be safe and wholesome so for that uh, purpose FSCI has launched this a particular scheme under the cluster certification that is eat right station so in this also the same thing was done like identification of railway stations the registration then the auditing pre-auditing then the training was being given to how how they can improve the uh, quality how they can improve the safety so such type of training is given and then the final audit and then the uh, certification so if we talk about the different railway stations so these are the five railway stations which are being certified under the scheme and the first eat right station was anand vihar terminal railway station being in new delhi and then we have chhatrapati shivaji terminus mumbai mumbai central railway station mumbai vadodara railway station gujarat and chandigarh railway station being the latest so chandigarh railway station has just recently got this certification so these are the five different uh, uh, eat right stations currently we are having after that uh, now we have completed the uh, cluster certification in that we have discussed different four schemes then the another scheme we have under this demand side intervention is hygiene rating scheme so as the name suggests so here we are fssci is rating the hygienic standards of various shops so it is a online scoring and rating process where the uh, certain food businesses are uh, rated or are given various uh, ranks on the basis of the food safety compliance and it mainly has two purpose number one being it will encourage the food businesses to improve their hygiene and safety standards because everyone wants to have a good rating and if they will be having a good rating they will attract more consumers as well every food business uh, operator will uh, try to have a good rating and that will ensure or that will encourage them to have good hygienic conditions uh, in their premises and the second uh, benefit of this scheme is that it will allow the consumers to make informed choices like they will be having a good idea like what exactly is the rating of this uh, particular uh, 
uh, shop so they can have a uh, good decision like uh, from where they should uh, buy any food product so this is the basic ideology behind this hygiene rating scheme so basically this scheme is for all those food food business operators who directly serve the food to the consumers like the pre uh, the completely cooked food is being served to the uh, consumers for example food service establishments like hotels restaurants cafeterias dhabas etc where the directly cooked food is directly uh, served to the consumers then we have meat retail shop sweet shops bakery shops so all these come under this particular scheme and to get the uh, rating done there are the uh, four steps which one needs to follow number one being the shop should get the fssi license or registration done and after that they should appoint a FSS that is food safety supervisor. So uh, any one person from the food business can get the FOSTEC training and then uh, that particular person be appointed as FSS and the food business. And then after uh, appointing the FSS, the uh, food business operator should have the uh, sem uh, testing of the food and water. And after that, once all these things have been done, the particular food business operator can select the HRAA from the FSSI website and the HRAA is Hygiene Rating uh, Audit Agency and they will uh, audit the food business premise, the food, the quality of food, the hygienic uh, standards of the uh, uh, premise and after that they will give the uh, rating and the rating is being given in this way so the different scores are being uh, uh, represented in the various smi uh, smileys so the excellent will have five smileys very good will have four good will three needs improvement two and poor one so with this it will help the consumers to get an idea about the quality and the hygienic uh, standards of that particular food premise and it will help them to make better choices and also it will encourage the uh, food business operators to increase their rating by uh, improving the uh, safety standards uh, in their premises. So these all are the various initiatives and schemes which FSSCI has taken under E-Tried India movement. So with this, we have completed one section of initiatives under E-Tried India movement. Now we are left with uh, two different sections that is a demand side intervention and uh, sustainable interventions. Uh, so in the coming lectures, we will be covering uh, both these uh, different sections and we will uh, complete the E-Tried India movement. And after that, we will talk about different other uh, initiatives as well, which FSSAI has taken. So I hope uh, it will help you in your uh, exam and if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up and stay tuned for more uh, such lectures till then stay safe stay healthy thank you